that's all. Maybe it was an animal. Yeah, perhaps. Roman, let's just go, okay? Let's just wait a minute, all right? I think you're wasting time. We'll see you about that. so much as sees your face, it's over. You'll kill Marlena then and there. You'll kill Marlena. Kill Marlena. Hey, Doc. Hi, Mo. Ringo. Roman, we've got to keep going. We've got to press on. No, Doc, let's just take a breather here, all right? Let's... They'll catch up to us. No, no, with this rain here, I'll make our tracks hard to turn. You all right? No, more. Oh, my God, you've been shot. It's all right. No, it's just a flush one. It's Roman, all right. I'll be the judge of that. Oh. How is it? You're right. You'll be okay. That's what I told you. Roman, you've got to get out of here. Come on, let me help you. We've got to keep moving. I want you to go back to the plane with Domingo. What about you? Listen, I'm going after the guys who fired these shots off here. If it's one of Vic's guys, I'm going to make them talk one way or another. No, it's too dangerous. That's you right. Can't do why that. won't you go back to the plane? Domingo! the hell is he? Domingo! Well, maybe getting shot at wasn't part of his deal memo. I wanted him to take you back to the plane. I wouldn't leave without you. I'm going to forget I wouldn't leave you here by yourself. You can't yourself. go with me. Look at you. You're exhausted. You're exhausted. Let's get on the plane. Get out of here like we planned. All right. I'm going back to the plane. But I'm going to leave a trail for this guy here. And once I get you safe and sound in that hangar, I'm going to lure him in and I'm going to nail him, all right? Fine. 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 Come on, Doc. Don't fail me now. We're almost there. We must be near the plane. We've come so far. That's right. That's why we can't stop, okay? This guy's following our trail. He's going to be on us any second. Come Maybe on. he's not with us anymore, Roman. I haven't heard gunshots for a while. Yeah, perhaps. But you know me, I don't like to take chances. Roman, come on. you've got to rest. Take a second. We both have to rest. Come on. All right, come just on. for a second. I know this is hard on you. But we've got to keep on moving here. If this guy's on our trail, he's going to be here any second, baby. I know, Come I on. know. I just needed a moment to, all right. to rest. Look, this is all going to be over real soon. Before you know it, we're going to be back in Salem safe and sound. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Doc! Roman. What? What? Did you hear that? What? Somebody called me Doc. Where? Right over there. I swear I'll shoot you. Oh, don't move. Come near me, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Don't shoot, Doc. It's me. It's Roman. You're all right. Thank you. 
survived all those years. And me too. I survived for one reason. To find you again. And then have you with me. It's all right. You're okay now. Very good, amigo. It's all right, Doc. I'm here. I'm here. It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. Come on. It's Roman. I'm here. I got you. And I'm never going to leave you again. And I'm never going to let anyone, not anyone, come between us. Not ever. I promise you. Stay away from me. What are you talking just, about? Just I want to help you. Stay away from me. No, 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 you're not, Roman. You're not well, my of husband. Of course I am. No, no, you're not. Doc, listen Who to me. Who are you? What do you want from me? The same thing I've wanted for the past seven years. You, the two of us together again. I... No, no, no. Doc, take a look at me, a good look at me, and you'll know it's true. I am your husband. I'm Roman. After all we've been through together, there's no way you couldn't. No, no. 
I don't know who you are or what you want from me, but you are not Roman Brady. Doc, listen to me. I know this has all been a shock to you. They made you believe that other guy was me, but he is not me. He's a phony. He's an imposter. That's insane. They set it all up. They wanted him to take my place. Why would somebody do that? What could they possibly gain by that? This is ludicrous. It's unbelievable. I don't believe... What? Oh, my God. You shot him. You shot Roman. How many times I have to tell you he's not he's Roman? Hot, and he's bleeding. Oh, Doc, you can't go to him. I can't let you go to him. Listen to me. If he sees you, he'll kill you. Don't be sick. Call me. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. He is an assassin. He's trained for this. You're crazy. That's not true. Look, Doc. Now, you may think you know what's going on here, but you don't. That guy is not me. He works for them. The people who held me prisoner, the same people that kept you locked up in that hospital room all these years. How do you know that? I just do, but that's not important right now. What is important... Is that you believe me? I am Roman. I'm the man you fell in love with. I'm the man you married. Look at this face. Doesn't that mean anything? I don't know. I don't know what that means. Doc, this is not makeup. It's not a mask. There's no plastic here. This is my face. This is what the real Roman Brady looks like. This is probably what our kids are going to look like when they don't get... Don't say that. What? 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 I can't talk about my own kids? They're not your children. You're not their father. I am. No, you're not. All right, you want me to prove it to you? Okay, I'll prove it to you. I'll, I'll tell you things that only the real Roman Brady knows. Uh, when we first met, I was trying to protect you from the Salem Strangler. I told you my name was Mr. Patrick. I don't want to hear this. Look, I wanted to stay at your house. You wouldn't let me. You told me to forget it. But I showed up on your doorstep anyway with my sleeping bag. You were furious at me. Somebody told you that. You're being coached. All right. How about the time that I was on the run? I was in hiding. And Carrie was sick. You fixed it so that I could sneak into the hospital to visit her. I disguised myself as Santa Claus. And I told her this story about the first Christmas. All right, you want something else? Uh, I'm the one who taught you how to ski. I, mean, I tried to teach you how to ski. Personally, I don't think you'll ever get off the bunny slope. The only thing you're worse at is cooking, and, 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 and you're horrible at that. Uh, what else? Uh, let's not forget the goblets. I found them in a little antique shop. I bought them for you. We were out in the country. We spent the night in an old inn. And every time I'd look at those glasses, I would remember that night. And as I recall, it was a very memorable one. Don't, don't do this. Doc, I can go on if you want me to. I have spent seven long years thinking about the past, and I remember all of it, every day, every minute. All right. All right. You remember things. Well, so does he. So does Roman. You damn mind he does. Because they brainwashed him with information about us. That's the only way they figured that he could fool you, and he did, didn't he? He showed up, he said, I'm Roman Brady, and he made you believe him. If you're really Roman Brady, I am. where have you been the last seven years? That's a good question. See, I was, uh, I was pretty much out of it at first after Stefano shot me and I fell off that cliff. Well, Bo was there on the... on the beach. He saw you die. He... he saw your body. You said my body, then you believe... No! I mean... I mean that he saw Roman dead. I almost 
almost was. Believe me, things didn't get much better after they hauled me off that beach. You said they held you prisoner. Maximum security. Where? Lots of places. Every time I tried to escape, they'd move me. But this one here on the island, the last one, it's the worst. There were no windows, no lights, nothing. Except you were upstairs. How do you know that? It's people we've been talking about are in to torture. They knew you were their best weapon against me. So to keep me in line, they would take me upstairs and let me look at you. But you weren't awake. You didn't know I was there. I did. What? You stood in the doorway. And you said my name. You called Doc. You heard me. I don't know how, but I did. What about you? Uh, how'd you get back to Salem? I, I, uh, I stowed away on a plane. And then you went home. To him. He showed me a lot of videotapes of the two of you together, uh, on the pier. Some party with my folks, uh, there were lots of tapes. There was a man that followed us and, and, and took videotapes. We weren't aware of that at first. We didn't even know it. But then, then Roman saw him and he, he followed him. But the guy got away. The imposter. What? You said Roman saw him. Roman didn't see him. He's an imposter. You said something that isn't quite right. You said that he convinced me that he was Roman. I convinced him. What are you talking about? I didn't believe at first. There were so many things that he knew. I don't mean places and dates and people. I... I'm talking about the kind of things that you can't put into words. They're just feelings. They're senses that you have. He had them. He knew things about me that nobody in the whole world knows about me. He knew me. If he knew you... It's from what I know. They robbed me of my memory. They took my past from me and they gave it to him. But the one thing they couldn't do, they couldn't make him me. Nobody can do that. So no matter what he told you, no matter what he made you believe about him, it's all a lie. All right, then who is he? Who is this man that you're calling an imposter? I don't know his name, but I know what he is, and I know what he is programmed to do. What you're saying is crazy. It may be crazy, but it's true, Doc. That's why I had to get you away from him. Because one word to him from them, and he'd kill you. Abe. Yeah, this is Roman. No, I don't need any help at all.
nothing will ever make me believe that Roman would... Or whoever you think he is, is a killer. He cares about me. When I came home, he was a person who took care of me. And he cared for my children for over six years. What about you? What about me? You were with him for almost a year before they kidnapped you. Yes. Well, while he was so busy being a father to my kids, what was he to you? That's great. That's just great. I'm rotting away in a stinking jungle and he is in my bed. I know it's not your fault. I don't blame you. I fell in love with him. I could never feel that way about somebody who could kill in cold blood. Well, he put on a good act. It was not an act. He cared about me. He cared about those children. And I loved him and I believed him. He was there for me. When I was gone the first time and when I came home this time, he was the one person that I could depend on. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Dependable. And I did depend on him. I did, and I still do, and I still do love him. Yeah, well, we've got about the next 50 years to sort that one out. Right now, the important thing is that I get you off this island. I'm not leaving here without him. Doc, how many times do I have to tell you? We even get close to that guy, and that's it. We are in adjoining plots. I will not leave him here. Have you even heard a word I have said? Yes, I have heard it. I don't believe it. I know him. There is no part of him that would ever, ever do anything to hurt me. understand that you have come to, uh, to trust this guy. No. Right? It's more than that. It's deeper. When I came home, I had no memory of what had happened to me. He dedicated himself to helping me find out. That's why we're here. Because he's helping me find the answers. All right, what have you come up with? Well, not, not a lot. We do know that this was where I was being held. I was a little afraid to come back here because I was afraid the memory might be too painful. But when I got here, I realized that I was having this sensation. It wasn't good, it wasn't bad, it was just a feeling. It's because I was here, Doc, not more than 50 feet away from you. You, huh? You got out. Uh, I thought they were drugging you. I think they were. I don't know what they were using. I, I was in a coma. It was an, an induced coma, but... Eventually, I began to wake up. When exactly was that? Can you remember? A couple months. I thought so. Why? Because I tried to escape about the same time. I tried so many times I've lost count, but this time... After they caught me, they didn't bring me back to my cell at the monastery. They took me out to the jungle and held me there. And you think that's when I escaped? Uh-uh. That's when they allowed you to escape. Because if they didn't, they were afraid that eventually I'd get to you. They couldn't take that chance, so they let you go home. A few days later, I start getting my daily videotapes of the two of you together. That's why they made the videotapes. Yes. As leverage. For some reason, they need me. Something big is going down very soon. And they had to be very positive they had me right where they wanted me. Believe me. Those tapes of you with him sure made their point. Well, that makes sense then, doesn't it? That sorts it out some. We don't know who they are, but we do know who they want. They want you. Yeah, well, believe me, I am not flattered. Well, you're a victim. Same as I am, same as Roman is. Oh, come on, please. It's true. 
They're using you. They're using me. They're using him. But he's not part of it. I'm sure of that. They want you to be sure. They're counting on that. They. You keep saying they. Who do you think they are? I don't know. If I had to take a wild guess, I'd say Stefano. Stefano. Roman thinks that it's Victor Kyriakos. Who's he? Oh. I guess you wouldn't know. How do I explain Victor? Victor's kind of a rival of Stefano's. He's the same kind of guy, same kind of cut of man. He's uh, rich and ruthless. Sounds like a fun guy. Yeah. A real A-list. Everybody in Salem thinks so. Even Isabella has mixed feelings about him ever since he threatened her. I'll bite. Who's Isabella? Well, Victor's daughter. Well, why should you be concerned if her old man's threatening her? Well, I, because she's not like Victor, because she's... Well, she's nice. Is she a friend of yours? No, she's not. She's... She's... She's Roman's fiance. What? They had become engaged right before I got back to Salem. I don't care. He is out there. He's hurt. He's bleeding. And I'm going to go to him because, by God, he needs me now. I don't believe this. The guy is obviously part of the enemy. He's planning to marry into the family, for God's sakes, and you want to help you him. You don't know him. He is not capable of hurting somebody who doesn't deserve it. He couldn't do it. He is not a killer. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Nobody is going to hurt anybody now. There'll be no more fighting today, no more killing. Oh, come on. Don't move, Roman. I mean it. Don't move. Roman. Now, oh, she's Roman. Who the hell am I, Doc? You want to know? I'll tell you who you Nobody are. sure who anybody is right now. Least of all me. Doc. There are answers here. And we can find them. But we have got to help each other. We have got to work together on this thing. We can do it. If we stick together. Okay? No more fighting, no more shooting. We've got to talk. Were you hurt badly? Just lost some blood, I'm all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you. Doc, you can't fall for this routine. Don't move, I told you, Roman, whoever you are. You know who I am. I don't know who you are. Why don't you take a look at this face? That ought to tell you something. All it tells me is your plastic surgeon got a hold of me first, pal. Doc, I don't know who he is, but I know I can't trust him. You're the one who can't be trusted. He's a trained assassin. I already told you that. Who did he tell you he is? I am Roman Brady. That's who I am. He's the man that I saw at the clinic. The man that came to my room, stood in the doorway, and called me Doc. But it wasn't a dream. Anybody could have been calling your name Doc. All right, this has gone on long enough. What's your name, pal? I what are you, know. Roman Brady? How many times do we have to go over this? Why don't you ask her? She knows who her husband is. Tell him, Doc. Don't do this to me. I can't say anything, not until I'm sure. What the hell are you trying to say, Marlena? All I'm saying is nobody's sure who anybody is right now, least of all me. But I know one thing. Nobody is lying. How can that be? I don't know. All I know is that we are not the enemy. The enemy is the person that put us here. That is the thing we're all telling the truth. We are. I can feel that. Now, you both say you're Roman. You both say you love me. Then prove it. Work with me here. Work with each other. 
stop trying to kill yourself long enough to find out who put us here. Trust me. Now, I suggest we go to the plane, get off this island. When we get to Salem, we can sort things out a whole lot easier. Don't you think? Well, no, I think it's crazy. But I don't argue when a woman's got a gun. All right, then I say we stop wasting time. We get this gear stored on that plane and get out of here before another storm. I would. Oh, right, oh, would if I were you, pal. Doing? Don't do that. all right, Doc. Take it easy. We're getting out of here. Don't. That is what we're doing. We're leaving him. We're not taking we're not him. We're going to get back there. No. How do you think I'm going to take him with us back to Salem? He's a train killer. Brad, put it down. I said, put it down, Jackie. Now, my friend, I'm going to give you an order. <laughs> do what you were trained to do. Show them who they're dealing with, huh? Roman, no. No. Kill them. Kill them, amigo! Don't do this. Listen to me. Don't do this. Two. Time, Doc. I told you what he is. Three. Shoot them now. Now. No. 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 He won't tell you who they are, but I will, and I'll tell you why he killed them, too. Because they wanted me to kill you. Is that clear? Because they were the same people that kept me here, kept me prisoner all these years. You want to know who brought you to this monastery in the first place? Him? That's right, him. Oh, I got to hand it to your pal. You are real smooth. Well, he saved our lives. He didn't have to kill them to save our lives. He killed them to cover up who he really is, Just to cover up the us. truth. We're in this together, all right? He could have killed us, but he didn't do it. He still can and I still might. No, he won't. He won't do that. Look, if everybody who knows what happened here is dead, we'll never get the answers. Oh, no, no. There's still one more warm body running around out there somewhere. Who's that? Gretchen. One of his gang. Thanks to our friend here, she's the only one left with any of the answers. All right. If she has the answers, then how do we find her? Now, wait, you hold on a second. I feel a trap coming on here. Who's to say he's going to hook up with his Gretchen? Turn the tables on us and do a number on us, huh? You're the one holding the gun, pal. We are all that we have now. We have to trust each other. And you got a point there. When I can't argue, how about you? I could, but I won't. Good. Then we have an uneasy agreement. Very uneasy. But you'll live with it, right? And I have to. Good. Well, then, where do we go to find Gretchen, huh? The only place I didn't even know to look for her back to the monastery. <laughs> Ain't that cozy. Why there? So they held me prisoner, remember? Well, if we're going to find your Gretchen friend, we better get to it, huh? Well, there. Good, all right, good. We're working together. Oh, after you. Oh, well, you know what? On second thought, uh, maybe you ought to go first. In case you trip with that gun in your hand, I have a thing about accidents. You don't sweat it, pal. Safety's on. It makes me feel a whole lot better. Thank you. 
Uh, ain't nobody here. We've already checked three floors. You know where we are, don't you? Oh, yeah, I know where we are, all right. This is the cell they kept me in. Keep your eyes open. What are we looking for? Anything, something, I don't know. Are you all right? Well, baby, I can't hang here anymore. we got to move out when we can. Move. Doc, you know me. I wouldn't drag you all the way down here if I was looking to kill you, would I? No, I don't oh, think you hurt. we're just starting to put the pieces together. We can do it if we get the hell out of here now. Clean as a whistle. Uh, sorry, what? Gretchen must have come back and cleaned the place out. Oh. Yeah, right. Why don't you tell us some more about you, Gretchen? Footsteps, come on. Get out of here. Are you all right, amigos? Yes, yes, we are. This man is the man who flew us in here. I heard gunfire. I called Mr. Brady on his telephone, offered to help. He turned me down. But I heard more gunfire. I decided to come anyway. Thank you. See anybody else anywhere wandering around? A woman. Yeah, a lady. Long, straight blonde hair. Tall, thin, green eyes. From what I That's can tell... That's all right. That's all right, let's go. Take but she's already car. gone. She's left. On a speedboat on the other side of the island. I saw her take off. Damn. Sorry, I was busy trying to find you. It's okay, Domingo. You couldn't have known. Yeah. And now we may never know. Gretchen's long gone. She's the only one that had the answers. Except for our friend here. Well, then we may as well go on home ourselves. Whatever information was here has been destroyed by the people that run this place. Wait, what are you saying, Doc? Did you just forget the whole thing? No. But we can sort it out when we get home. What choice do we have? We'll go on home. We'll sort this thing out the best we can from there. That's all we can do. We hope. We have to. Somehow. One way or the other. Are you too sure you can handle this? Relax, Doc. This won't take long. All right. Whatever you say. Hey, there you go. Oh, sorry, I thought you were ready for that. No problem. You know, if I were in your shoes, I'd probably be out of it, too. After all, you're going to a strange city. Meet strange people. I'm sorry, I'm an old friend. Oh, I'm not afraid about going back at all, Roman. Matter of fact, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Is that a fact? Yeah. Because the sooner the two of us are back in Salem, the sooner Doc will figure out what I already know. Which is what? Just who you are, pal. And just who am I? An imposter. After you.